Hey, 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 everybody, it's the next day, yay, every- Well, not really, I haven't gone to sleep yet, but it will be the next day of Stardew Valley with me, Splattercat, welcome on back. So, we've got level 5 farming, choose a profession, rancher versus tiller. I'll probably go with tiller, since it seems like you produce more. Animal products are worth 10% more, we don't really have any animals, so I'm gonna go with tiller right now. I also got level 5 foraging, wow. What a day to advance, what a day, what a day, what a day. Wood is worth 50% more, and there's a chance for double harvest off of foraged items. I'm gonna go for double harvest, I guess. I have no idea what's the right choice there. The wood value, most of the time it seems like I need wood to sell, so, I'm sorry, I need wood to build things, so why would I sell it? Now that this episode is off to a fantastical start, because I think it is, she's building our gallows right here so that we can hang all the unruly animals just in case we need to. It looks like we got another corn crop over here. Oh, look at that, we got a tomato harvest in too. Man, we're just making money hand over fist. See, I knew we would ramp back up. It's just that I bought that tree. That's all there was to it, is I bought this tree over here. And it's growing by next season. It should be 100% ready to go. She seems like she's sniffing the air every time she hammers watch. Watch, she'll sniff the air in a second. She'll be like... <laughs> I know she'll... There it is right there. I would pay somebody to make a mod where she farts right before she does that every single time. Like, no joke. Like, it would be the greatest. Dear Figgle Farmer, I saw an article about you in the local paper. It sounds like the country life is a good fit for you. I'm so proud of you. Take care, sweetie. Love, Mom. No, call me sweetie. I'm a man. Alright, so we'll sell all this ish. That's all out of the way. How are we doing like on all our farming stuff and on our fishing stuff and on our crafty stuff? We've got exotic foraging, but I don't think we can do that until we can actually go out to other places. Construction bundle, actually, we could do that pretty soon, pretty easily, actually. So that'll fix a bridge somewhere, I guess. Yeah, let's go see if we can fix a bridge. I can get more wood. That's not a problem at all. We just got to go back out to the forest. It looks like the pine trees and whatnot down there are growing like crazy anyways. Should be totally fine, I think. Sorry, I had to wet my whistle here. Every now and again, I do commentary like... On stream days, like seven or eight hours a day. On like a normal day, I do it about five, six hours a day. And it's just like... It's the... Oh yeah, did we get a double harvest right? Nope, we didn't. Hmm. It popped up over there with like a weird... Delay. It made me think that maybe we got the double harvest. Double harvest would be cool if I have those days where I just run around foraging all the time, although... This does not appear to be our season as far as harvesting goes. Yeah, I remembered seeing one down there, so I'll grab that while we're in the area, too. Let's get up inside of here, and where was the construction one at? I can do the construction one. I don't have the hardwood with me, though. That's for the fish tank. It's probably in here, maybe. Just gotta donate a whole bunch. I don't know what bridge this fixes, but... Nope, that ain't it. Maybe it's in the little upper room. I mean, either way, I've got to go get the hardwood. I forgot about it. So we'll swing on back and get ourselves some nice hard wood. Insert joke there. Ad lib joke, essentially. Once that's all nice and done. Oh, I thought that was a grape for a second. I got overly excited. I love grapes, but I didn't realize, like, grapes are not super good. Like, they got lots of antioxidants, sure. But grapes are also a lot of empty calories, and I didn't realize that. I used to eat a lot of grapes. I learned all kinds of things when I was like, because I was about 200, 210 pounds, 195 in there, when I decided I wanted to lose weight and start working out every day. And now I'm at a buck 30, buck 35 in there somewhere. So you can do it. If ain't nobody else told you that you can do it, you just got to believe in yourself and you just got to be consistent about it. You can definitely lose weight if you want to. I, I've got to grab the, what do we need out of here? Uh, I think we needed hardwood. That's what it was. So we'll grab the hardwood out of here, so at least we got something done today. We actually could do the rounds, and we drop stuff off with Gunter too. I think those are the only ones that I need. I don't know if he wants the Thunder Egg. It doesn't say that it's a Gunter thing. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Off we go. We got lots of cheese. We'll chop down a bunch of trees after this to make up for the fact that we just used up all of our resources trying to get other things done. If I see anybody around, I'll probably just give them these sweet peas as presents. If they like it, great. If they don't like it, meh. Who cares? Not a huge problem for me. You can give people gifts, and I haven't been doing a great job of it lately. So as we see people wandering around town, it might not be the worst plan. Is there anybody here? 
Anybody home? Hi, 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 everybody. I'm inside your house as usual, Demetrius. With this bomb ass flower. Thank you, this is a very interesting specimen. Good. Demetrius likes us better because we gave him flowers. There's nothing wrong with ex between exchanging flowers between two men who care about each other, okay? Sometimes you just gotta give a flower to another man. It is what it is. You'd be like, hey, take these flowers, bitch. Let's hug it out. And that's how it gets handled. You gotta be rough and abrasive. This is a great gift. Thank you. Man, everybody loves these. Sweet peas are apparently popular. I gotta get more sweet peas. Note to self, keep more sweet peas around. Although, all the people that I just gave that shit to were not really people that, like, I wanted to give stuff to, so... Maybe we'll find somebody else. It seems like lately there's not many people walking around, though. Maybe they're all at the beach or something? Oh, we haven't gone to the beach in a while, have we? We haven't been to the beach in, like, four or five days. I bet there's a bunch of stuff to pick up over there. Hmm. She needed an iron brick, right? Oh, it got rid of our wizard thing, too. Hey, Marnie, take that. Yay, she said thank you. Does she like us yet? Because we got to go into her room and get the underwear that the... Eh, not quite. I forgot about the iron bar thing, though. I wonder where she goes. We're going to have to run her down a little bit later. I hope I didn't use up the last of my coal, too. Man, I'm just running into all kinds of roadblocks today, aren't I? I'm making mistakes. Screwing up left and right. Welcome to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat. This is what I do. Although nowhere is it particularly more evident... Oh, man, I don't have any coal. Did I break my last five coal? I did break my last five coal. Shit. You know, sometimes I get legitimately angry with myself. Like, I hate my bullshit. I really sincerely do. Now I gotta go down in the dungeon to go get coal so I can make the one bar for Marnie, who I've gotta run down late in the day because I have no idea where she's gonna be at. Making this day more hate, like I said in the last episode. I like it when things are planned, and I like them when they're orderly, and when things happen where they're supposed to happen. And once they start getting all out of order and unruly, that's when I start to get unruly, and I start to get frustrated. I'm like, no, nah. It's too much. Splattercat cannot compute. Please come back later. Splattercat blue screen. <laughs> DXC10009 X1009. Random numbers. Hexadecimals. Why is there always just like the sound of flies over here? Is there like a landfill nearby or something? They're like, dude, don't point it out. It's the hobo's house, man. Why are you being such a dick right now? I'm like, I didn't know. Jesus. Calm down. I didn't know. I didn't know. There's coal monsters down here, so I figure we'll just murder them for all of the fast acting supplies that we need. Seems like it still does okay damage, and it strikes faster, so maybe I'll go with that. We need the iron anyways, so maybe we'll dig something good out down here. These little guys gotta get trapped. What's it secondary? Just a parry? Okay, so it counts as a sword. These little guys are what I was thinking. There we go. We got one coal. I'm going to smelt some iron bars, so we gotta be out of here at a reasonable time. And if we are not... It's going to cost us. What's up with those stones on the wall? They look kind of weird. You look weird. I'm a totally normative stone, and you're over here casting aspersions. Casting aspersions, sir. On my integrity. On my stoniness. It's not okay. It's not okay. I'll report you to the Geologist Guild, which is not a thing. It does not exist. There is like a United States Geologist test that you can get, though, where you'd be like an official United States Geologist. USGS and all that shit. But that was more schooling. And when I got done with college, I was like, I'm done! I might go back after this whole YouTube thing blows over. And then I might go back and get like a master's or something like that. Probably a master's. A PhD seems like a bit much and it makes you overqualified. A master's would work for, indus for industry labor, so... Give me a nice cushy job behind a desk where I can surf Reddit all day and look at maps. Because why work super hard when you don't have to? Mm, copper. I guess maybe because the work is satisfying. I don't know. I don't want to stay down here all day. But we're already like on the 44th floor. It seems possible. Weird ice bats, man. What kind of ice bats live in a dun- Oh, there's the stairs right there. Well, we can actually progress. We're going to have a really busy day. More bat wings. 
That'll give us another elevator. Elevator to the top. It looks like your quests actually expire now if you don't turn them in, too. That's a little bit weak. I liked it how, like, once you completed it, you could just turn it in at your leisure. I get why they did it, but... Eh. I liked it the other way. But I prefer it my way. The Lord of War reference right there. That's like one of my favorite movies of all time. Lord of War is a really fantastic... Oh, hey. How you doing, girl, that I'm trying to get with? You want a spice berry? What am I supposed to do with this? Eat it. What are you, stupid? Like, <laughs> I gave you free food. I'm trying to be your homie right now. Man, people in this game. People in this game. What do I do with this? It's a giant thing that you eat. It's weird, because I gave her a sweet pea the other day, and she was perfectly fine with it. Like, she was totally stoked about it. She's like, yay, sweet pea. I'm going to go eat this. So you'll eat a flower. But God forbid... You want this? Thanks. Well, she smiled a little bit, so that's okay. I'm just trying to, like, work myself over with everybody in town right now. And then I needed the iron bar so that I could give it to Marnie. So that she could put it under her pillow so that when the mayor gives it to Marnie... It will apparently be more structurally sound. I think it takes an hour to make an iron bar. I'm not 100% about that gifting gifting in this game, man. It's so sketchy. People so, like, temperamental. i never met a person in my entire life that gets something for free and then is just like, uh, what is this? Why do I want this? No. I think you want it because you might be an asshole. That'll take an hour. Let's go chop some Vuda and also get rid of some stoops. Buddhas and stoops. That's all we're doing all day today. Ooh, we got hardwood out of that one. We're going to need that later on. We need 100 hardwood for something, and I can't quite remember what. I think it's for one of the turn-ins, actually. One of the little bundly things. I'm probably mistaken, though. But I definitely remember hearing I needed 100 hardwood for something, and also seeing it somewhere in-game. Keep on stumping, stump for something. You gotta stump for a cause. If you stump aimlessly, that's the path to the dark side, my friends. That is the path to the dark side. Granted, the dark side does have force lightning. So in a certain way, they're kind of more badass. Because force lightning alone, like, I've wished that I could force choke and force lightning people, like, probably a thousand times over the course of my life. Like, almost every day, really. Just like you're in traffic. Like, for example, I was at a traffic stop the other day, and my lane goes through. There was no stop sign, and it was a, it was a T. It was like a, it was an intersection, basically, a four-way intersection. Left and right, from my perspective, have stop signs. Top and bottom do not. You just go through. And a guy was stopped right there, and he tried to breeze through the stop sign, and I don't have a stop. Like, it's a through road. You go. You don't stop right there if you're going in that direction. And he flips out, he starts honking, and just be like, Aah! out his window in his big wheeled truck or whatever. And I was like, this would be one of those moments where you would just go, Aah! stop the car, and just like put your hand on him like Darth Vader. And then he'd just be like, oh, oh, oh. and you let it, I probably wouldn't kill him. I'd probably let it just go in there for a second. Just like really let him have a taste of what it would feel like to kiss the other side. Like really just let him think that it's gonna happen. You know, let it sink in for a little while. Let him really start to panic and struggle and be like, oh my god, what is choking me right now? Is it bees? Just like freaking out. And then right when he's about to go, ah, let go. And watch him fall over his steering wheel. It'd be so rad. You know you want those powers. Don't hate. I'm not overly violent. I'm just allergic to stupid people. So where does Marnie hang out at night? Emily, Haley, Jody, Kent. Bing -a -bong, bing -bong, bing -a -bong. Oh, shit. If I had gone the other way, I would have turned this in on time, and now I failed the quest. I don't think I can get into her house after 9 because it counts as a store. Maybe she'll be walking around town, though, if I go this way. She might go to the bar or something. She's an adult. Adults love beer, right? I love beer, and I'm an adult, therefore, Occam's Razor, everybody loves beer and is an adult. Up late, huh? Hey, have a cold one. I like this guy. I knew I liked this dude. Ugh, life. I thought he said bruh. I'd be like, yeah, bruh, sa. 
How come ours came in a bucket? You get a can and we get a bucket of beer. Apparently my reputation precedes me. You ever feel like no matter what you do, you're going to fail? Like you're stuck in some miserable abyss and you're so deep you can't even see the light of day? I don't know, man. I just feel like no matter how hard I try, I'm not strong enough to climb out of that hole. Heh, <laughs> you're a fast drinker, huh? Man, after my own heart. Just don't make it a habit. You got a future ahead of you still. Well, my liver's begging me to stop, so I'm gonna call it a night. See you around, Figgle Farmer. I think everybody feels like that to a certain extent. What is that? I'm tipsy. Okay. Oh, man, that took like 30 minutes. Yeah, I think everybody feels like that to a certain extent. It is what it is. I think I think that's just like the life situations that most people are probably born to be unhappy. I'm unhappy all the time, and I have nothing to be unhappy about. This is a natural condition. We default back to it because it's easier than being happy. Like being happy takes like maintenance work, because your brain is constantly doing like these little like checks and balances to be like, am I actually happy? Is this actually going on? Whereas being miserable, that's super easy. Your brain looks for negatives to. Evolutionary survival response. Is she sleeping while building right now? I don't think you should be using power tools or manual tools while building while sleeping also. That just seems risky to me. My hope is that right after this, what we'll do, so we failed that quest for Marnie, unfortunately. It'll go through. It's not that big of a deal. Like, I, just, I was trying to use that as kind of a leaping point to get an extra heart so we could go to her house later on. So now we could transmute iron, pickaxe proficiency. The end of the 16th of summer, we made another 400 bucks. Sounds pretty nice. <laughs> Our progress being saved, it looks like we're finally actually going to have to be a farmer for once. I've got my watering can still hanging out over here. Let's go refill it. Our silo is done, which means today what I'd like to do is start lining up coops and getting those ready to go. I don't think... Do we have the... Let me see here. We've got the sprinkler. I'll see the good sprinkler around. Hmm. Might have to wait on it. We might have to farm a little bit better before we can get the good sprinkler. Sometimes you can get the amethyst sprinklers from the gypsy lady or whatever. Which apparently you're not supposed to use that word anymore. I asked on stream, I was like, we don't have gypsies in the United States. Are you, like, allowed to say gypsy? And they're like, no. Like, half the people are like, that's offensive, and half the people are like, nah, it's an ethnicity. I don't know who to believe now. I'm just confused all the time. I've been misinformed about the universe. We don't have travelers or, like, gypsies here. Just, we don't have those. And so you gotta ask somebody who actually lives in a place that has those. Because they're still referenced, like, in media and stuff like that. Like, the game still expects you to know what a gypsy is or whatever. I'm like, well, I want to know more. I want to find out. Let's continue watering. We're using up a grip of energy, but it should be all right. Can't wait till that fruit tree's done, by the way. That fruit tree's gonna be ridiculously rad. I'll probably try to keep them by type, maybe. Is there a plant missing right there? No, I think it's just that little one right there. I don't think it's grown in yet or something. I don't know. For a second, I thought there was like a fundamental failure on my part. And I was like, no, I failed on camera again. More people are going to be mean to me. Uh, let's go the upway. I think the upway is faster to get over to the carpentry place. I've really got to stop going through town. I think I waste a considerable amount of time every single day trying to go through town. We'll check the beach today, too, see if there's any forageables around that we can sell at the end of the day. Maybe make an extra couple hundred bucks. We got nine grand right now. It's not a lot in the larger scheme of things. I think my stream character is sitting on like 25 or 30 grand, and now he's making like four or five thousand dollars every single day. He's making a ton of money. It just can't even spend it all. He's got so much. It's insane, really. All right, so let's go ahead and I need more farm buildings. We need a hundred stone. Where is stone at? Did I take it out of my inventory? Urgh! 
My own adult braininess aside, I went and got the stones. We're good. I wasn't going to, like, penalize you for me being dumb. Let's go, and we need to construct a coop so that we can have animals. I mean, there's lots of stuff that we can... We could do barn-dwelling animals if we really, really wanted to. I think there's a big coop in here somewhere, too. There's, like, a larger one. Oh, it's an upgrade. Never mind. I was... Iridium. Huh. Apparently, we got to get Iridium. Going straight back to Borderlands. Alright, so for our first coop... I don't know what I prefer for it. Maybe something down here. That looks good. We'll corner it on up and maybe I'll put fruit trees in next to some of this stuff. Just like little decorations here and there. Alright, I'll start working on your new coop. First thing next or tomorrow morning. I do wish the storyline elements came up more frequently. I like them a lot. Like, I sincerely do. I like the... I really, really, really like them. Like those little things that you get where the characters start to explain why they are. I wish that... I guess they space it out over a couple of years though. But I would really love to have more of that. Like the interaction that we had with the hobo, the interaction that we had with Shane. I mean, I don't know, man. If you don't like your situation, you gotta change it. That's the thing that sucks about life. This is like, unfortunately... I hate to say it like that, but... If you don't like where you're at, you gotta be the one to like get yourself out of that rut. And I know it can be difficult sometimes because like you need the money or the paycheck or whatever else. Shit, I know how that feels. I've been trapped in that situation. I did jobs I hated for years just because like I couldn't afford to quit. Basically trapped. It was like indentured servitude, essentially. But, you can change your situation. It's doable. Perfect. More stuff donated, so we have to worry about that anymore. Do I have anything else with me that I need to do anything with? Nah, we're looking solid right now. I have a close friend who was bartending for the last, you know, while. Like, the last chunk of time. You like refined quartz, maybe? She likes amethyst. I know she likes amethyst. What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, you, you can give it back then. Most people would turn it down and just be like, oh, that's cool. And then they'd hand it back to you, but they keep it. They keep it, but they bitch about it. That's what makes them terrible people. That's what really tears it. I uh, Actually, we've got pretty good supplies. I do need to chop wood a little bit longer so that we have like a stack that's respectable for whatever our next project is, especially if we're going to go all in on the coop the next time. We'll want to save some money so that we can outfit our entire place with chickens. I don't like it when I buy like one chicken at a time because then they grow up and they age at different rates. We've got the silo, so that means we need to go out with the scythe too and cut some grass. So that'll work too. we got lots of stuff to get done today. Actually, we've got things in front of us that need accomplishing. Can't do it with a sword. I think we have to have a scythe. I wonder if it's only a certain season that you get that out. I wasn't paying attention when I put the tapper up. I guess we could check it right here. Place on a maple and wait for the reservoir to fill with product. I assume since it's like passive income, it probably goes pretty slowly. Got a thunder egg. I should have just given her the amethyst. Is it the end of the beginning of the week? Abigail. So I gotta wait till next week before I can give her anything else? That's okay. I... We get some random gifts arrayed just in case. Throw all that stuff in there. Looks solid. So for the transmutation, three copper bars becomes one iron. That's going to be really, really helpful later on. It's not helpful right now. It's not that big of a deal. The preserves drawer might work out pretty well for us. If we could make, like, blueberry preserves out of all the blueberries we we're about to make. Might be worth a go. We need more coal for it, though. And then we got the recycling machine, which is actually obtainable. Let's grab that and that. And, yeah, we'll make a recycling machine. I'll put it over here next to the rest of, like, my supplementary stuff. So now if we have trash, what happens with that? Let's play around with it. I know I got trash in here. I know I got driftwood laying around in one of my other chests, too. That random drum beat that it drops on us. Like Lil John's hiding in the bushes at any moment. Just be like, yeah! And just drop that shit on you. I think that's about all the junk that I've been holding on to. I don't think I have busted CDs or anything like that. I wonder if it's like a combination type thing. Like you drop a couple trashes in here. Or... Do you just put in the one or can you put in more? Oh, you just put in the one. Okay. Well, we've put in trash, so we'll see what we get out there. Can you put in the recycler? Can you put like anything in the recycler? This is giving me an expensive toy. 
I'd be shoving everything in there. It'd be like a baler. I'd be like, well, let's see if we can shove a lawn chair in there. Let's see if we can shove coconuts in there. I don't know how long that's going to take, so let's go gather some grain first. We are absolutely going to need it. The chickens go through that shit really, really rapidly. Let's see. Need you. Shouldn't need you for a bit. Not that I reckon, anyways. We'll take our scythe. Once again, why does it have a C in it? What's the point? What is the point? It's like skizzers. I assume it comes from some Latin root or something. And so that right there, that's how you gather grass. That's why you probably don't want to wipe out all the grass fields on your property before you go back and do this stuff. Because you probably want to spend some time gathering a pretty keeping helping quantity of hay. Because once you get further into the game, you're going to need a lot of it to keep everything fed all the time. I've actually found that animals don't really... They don't pay off that well unless you're processing everything. If you're processing everything, it seems to be okay, but... I don't know. I have my chickens, and I think, like, I make mayonnaise out of the eggs or something like that. And it really doesn't... It doesn't pay that much. I think you get, like, 80 per mayonnaise or something. And you get, like, two or three eggs a day. It's just, like, supplementary income. I wouldn't count on it for, like, absurd, am like absurd amounts of cash. A little bit more hardwood right there. Man, this field is starting to get clear out. And then you got to take these, as I recall. Oh, no, they automatically go inside of there. That's right. So we got 90 haze inside of there. And then what will happen is they'll be automatically transported inside the coop. And then you can move them around to feed the chickens once you get that all set up. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. I will see you in the future. Thanks for stopping on in. It was a ton of fun. Oh, I got three coal out. That's pretty cool. Or I got coal out. I didn't get three, but that's still pretty sweet. I mean, it's better than nothing. Might be worth setting up a few of these little guys over here and getting them all going simultaneously. Maybe I will. Yeah, I'll probably set that up. Anyways, I'll see y'all later, Nerd Castle. Thanks for stopping in. It's always a blast to have you over. It's kind of like hanging out with friends all morning for me. I'll see you next time. Bye.